Item number, SCP-733, Object Class, Safe, Special Containment Procedures. SCP-733-1 is stored in a secure locker at site as of all testing with SCP-733-1 has been suspended due to Incident 733-03. SCP-733-2 is currently stored in a secure, humidity-controlled document locker at site Direct access to SCP-733-2 may only be performed with prior permission from at least two Level 3 personnel but access to transcripts and scans of SCP-733-2's contents is available via standard network access to anyone with at least level 2 clearance. Description SCP-733-1 is a pair of ornate silver scissors, apparently crafted circa 18 when used to by order of O5 command. When discovered, SCP-733-1 was pressed between the pages of SCP-733-2, a handcrafted leather-bound book containing approximately 80 pages. The pages of SCP-733-2 contain 33 black-and-white photographs, as well as 137 fragments of handwritten text. The authors of the text in SCP-733-2 have been analyzed as belonging to two unidentified individuals, a male, Subject A, and female, Subject B, of approximately 20 to 25 years of age, who appear to be romantically involved with each other. Analysis of the photographs contained in SCP-733-2 have yielded no evidence of tampering, altering, or modification of any of the images. SCP-733 was discovered in an antique store in the city of by Foundation researcher Dr. Upon noting the anomalous details documented within, Dr. brought the objects into Foundation custody, where it has since been contained. The following inscription is also visible on the front of SCP-733-2. Diary Addendum 733-1 Record of notable images and text in SCP-733-2 Subject Photograph number 3 Text fragment number 11 Pages 2 Description A photograph of a blanket spread out on a grassy hill with a picnic basket on top. Depressions in the blanket are consistent with that of a person sitting on the blanket, but no one is visible. The first time I saw you, you were like the rising sun, banishing the chill of loneliness with your radiant beauty. Subject A. Subject. Photograph number 7. Text fragment number 26. Pages. 13. Description. A photograph of a table in a crowded restaurant. A well-dressed middle-aged gentleman is seen conversing and or laughing with an empty seat next to him. Even my father dotes upon you. I have not seen him laugh so heartily in years. Subject A. Subject. Photograph number 11. Text fragment number 49. Pages. 18 and 19. Description. A photograph of a wedding chapel. Shadow patterns indicate a woman in a dress should be within the frame of the picture, but no such woman is visible. When I saw you walking down the aisle, you took my breath away. I have never been so happy as on that day. Subject A. Subject. Photograph number 26. Text fragment. Number 93. Pages. 51. Description. A cradle containing a newborn infant. Propped up next to an empty chair, our daughter, Agatha, the fruit of our love. Subject A. Subject. Photograph number 29. Text fragment number 115. Pages 56. Description. A smiling, handsome man of approximately 20 years of age stands with his hand extended, as if holding something that cannot be seen. Your friend. I'm almost made jealous by the happiness you show when he is in town. Subject A. Subject. Text fragment number 128. Pages. 61. Description. Why must you spend so much time with him? Our bed seems to have grown cold lately. Am I at fault? 
Subject A. Subject. Text fragment number 133. Pages. 63. Description. My dear... It is with sadness that I admit to having had an affair with my beloved... I cannot deny it any longer. Though I am reluctant, when you read this, I will already be gone. I can only hope that you can find it within your heart to forgive me. Subject B. Subject. Photograph number 33. Text fragments number 136 to 137. Pages. 67 and 68. Description. A damaged photograph, older than the ones before it, showing a couple holding hands. The face of the man, as well as the surroundings are blurred by what appears to be drops of human tears and smeared blood, and the woman has been cut out using scissors. It has been a long time since I have written. My tears are run dry, and sorrow has turned to hatred in my heart. Subject A. If I cannot have you, then no one else will. No one shall even remember your name when I am through. Subject A. Addendum 733-2. Experiment log for SCP-733. Addendum 733-03. Incident 733-03. On a security breach was reported at site. Upon investigation, Security footage showed Agent M opening SCP-7331's containment locker, and... Further investigation showed that an unidentified senior Foundation researcher was missing from site... Determined by checking the site... Roster for unfilled positions. When questioned, Agent M refused to answer any questions, merely stating... He got what he deserved. Agent M is currently detained at site... Pending further investigation. Lesson complete. If you missed the previous orientation, go watch SCP-732, The Fanfic Plague, right now. Or for the complete course, watch this playlist.